today i'm going to be going over seven commanders we could see come to rise of kingdoms in 2022. what's going on guys cheers now we already have 75 commanders here in rise of kingdoms but my assumption is that moving forward in 2022 they're not going to slow down implementing new ones because that's what keeps the game exciting and interesting so today we're going to go over seven that we could see but before we do that we have to jump into a word from our sponsor today's sponsor is raid shadow legends there's a reason raid sponsors all of your favorite content creators because the game is actually enjoyed by millions of players all around the world and you could be one of them too by downloading with my link in the description or using the QR code on the screen. Not only is it available on mobile, it's available on PC as well. With over 600 champions, Raid is constantly adding new content to keep their players engaged and having fun. Like the new Hydra boss that probably reminds you a little too much of your ex. Hopefully, unlike your ex though, the Hydra has six giant heads, all of which are a boss battle on their own. The Head of Blight is particularly nasty, releasing poisonous clouds to deal damage and prevent your team from landing their attacks. Or the Head of Decay, which is a real nightmare it has a passive ability that causes your team to lose max hp every time you try to heal all while having its own protective life barrier and you guys know me i always love collecting new characters and building my own army to take down my enemies and raid is no exception right now raid is giving away their new super limited edition champion for free and it's none other than esports legend simple so what are you waiting for boys download raid shadow legends today with my link down below and you'll get a free starter pack worth almost 30 bucks thank you so much to raid shadow legends for sponsoring today's video okay so this video you can sort of assume is like a wish list these are commands that I would love to see Lilith implement into Rise of Kingdoms, but I also think that they're famous enough and on brand enough that Lilith may pick them to put into the game at some point. Just so we're clear, this isn't any sort of leak or rumor or anything like that. This is just my assumption of what Lilith could do based on other games of this genre that use these famous historical figures. Without further ado, jumping into the first commander on my wish list, we have none other than King Arthur. Now, King Arthur, you're, you're familiar with the stories, okay? Knights of the Round Table, Camelot. Now, he's sort of like a folklore mythological human right he's not really like considered a real commander from history he's mostly from British folklore but then again there's commanders in the game like Gilgamesh who are mainly from stories and poems where he's like talking to goddesses and stuff like that so I think there's room in Rise of Kingdoms to sort of bend reality a little bit and I think King Arthur would be a perfect fit in the game I can see him as a cavalry commander that is somewhat of a supportive role sort of like a Joan of Arc where he's AO buffing those around him and honestly him being one of the most famous characters of all of folklore I'm sort of surprised that he's not in the game already I mean we have commanders like Pakal in the game that I feel like just aren't that relevant I, I don't know like in a in a historical context it's obvious that King Arthur is just way more relevant than somebody like Pakal not to say that Pakal doesn't deserve to be in the game I think he has a really cool niche role and showing homage to those sort of cultures is incredible and I'm happy that he's there but King Arthur just feels like a no-brainer right so I think in 2022 maybe we can see him come around if we take a look at his Wikipedia entry and I'm going to be looking over here for this for the rest of the video if I'm reading something that's over here so forgive me but it says King Arthur was a legendary Celtic British leader who according to medieval histories and romances, led the defense of Celtic Britain against Saxon invaders in the late 5th and early 6th centuries. The details of Arthur's story are mainly composed of Welsh and English folklore and literary invention, and modern historians generally agree that he is unhistorical. Moving on to number two on the list of commanders that I would like to see in 2022, none other than the boy Hammurabi, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a historical figure that I feel like even if you're not that familiar with world history, you still probably know Hammurabi, or at least you know his codes, you know, the eye for an eye type of thing. I feel like because he's so well known, he's another one of those no brainers that I feel like should be in the game already. And honestly, I can see him as another really awesome cavalry commander. If we take a look at his Wikipedia article here, it says Hammurabi was the sixth king of the first Babylonian dynasty of the Amorite tribe. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing anything here. Reigning from 1792 BC to 1750 BC, he was preceded by his father who abdicated due to failing health. During his reign, he conquered Elam and the city-states of Larsa, Ishnuna, and Mar 
Bukhari. He ousted Ishim Dagan I, the king of Assyria, and forced his son Mudashkar to pay tribute, bringing almost all of Mesopotamia under Babylonian rule. Again, I probably mispronounced almost every single word there, so my sincerest apologies. But I mean, come on, uniting Mesopotamia, like that's kind of a big deal, man. That's kind of a big deal. And I feel like Hammurabi would just fit in Rise of Kingdoms and he would be awesome on the battlefield moving on to number three on my list we have William Wallace now this is a commander that I have heard many people say that they wish would be in rise of kingdoms he's very famous I think he would be an infantry commander I mean I I don't know I just feel like he was a true savage warrior through and through I mean ultimately he was a Scottish Knight right if we take a look at the Wikipedia page we see Sir William Wallace was a Scottish Knight who became one of the main leaders leaders during the first war of Scottish independence along with Andrew Moray sorry again for mispronunciation William defeated an English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in September of 1297 he was appointed Guardian of Scotland and served until his defeat at the Battle of Falkirk in July of 1298 in August 1305 Wallace was captured near Glasgow and handed over to King Edward the first of England who had him hanged drawn and quartered for high treason and crimes against English civilians. Needless to say, he may be familiar to you from other games like Age of Empires and even like Infinity Kingdom, but he's a badass, man. He's a badass and I could totally see him in Rise of Kingdoms. Moving on to number four, we have none other than King Menelaus of Sparta. Now, I think there's a chance we get some sort of Greek civilization in Rise of Kingdoms. I know we already have Byzantium, but I feel like we could get some sort of ancient Greek civilization, which would fit perfectly with like Julius Caesar and Leonidas, King Menelaus. He could be a perfect fit there. Now, this image obviously isn't exactly perfect to what I feel like he might have looked like, but I can see him as a badass Greek infantry warrior if we take a look at his article here on wikipedia it says in greek mythology menelaus was a king of mycenaean sparta according to the iliad menelaus was a central figure in the trojan war leading the spartan contingent to of the greek army under his elder brother Agamemnon, king of Mycenae. Prominent in both the Iliad and Odyssey, Menelaus was also popular in Greek vase painting and Greek tragedy, the later more as a hero of the Trojan War than as a member of the doomed house of Altraeus. I remember reading the Odyssey in college, and I just feel like King Menelaus was one of the more prominent figures in ancient Greek mythology. Now, honestly, Greek mythology has a ton of mythological figures and creatures and folklore and all that good stuff. So they, there's tons that you could pick from, but I mean, we already got Leonidas of Sparta. I feel like this would just be a perfect fit and it could be super cool. Moving on to number five, we have none other than the leper King Baldwin the fourth. Now Baldwin the fourth of Jerusalem is a famous historical figure. And I feel like he could be implemented into rise of kingdoms as sort of a counter to Saladin. I don't know what that would be, whether that would make him an infantry commander or if he had some sort of special skill that countered something that Saladin did specifically. But I think that could be just a cool relationship to play around with, sort of like how Saladin was supposed to counter Richard in Rise of Kingdoms. So maybe he could be an infantry commander or an archer commander, something along those lines. If we take a look at his Wikipedia article, it says Baldwin IV called the leper was king of Jerusalem from 1174 until his death. He was admired by his contemporaries and later historians for his willpower and dedication to the kingdom of Jerusalem in the face of debilitating leprosy, which eventually left him blind and unable to use either his hands or his feet. Choosing competent advisors, Baldwin ruled a thriving realm and succeeded in protecting it from the ambitious ruler of Egypt. Saladin look we've already got Saladin in the game we've already got Richard in the game I think it's time Baldwin makes a appearance here in Rise of Kingdoms and I think that would just be badass he's also known for having this metallic sort of face mask which I think they could make look really cool in the Rise of Kingdoms art style with that being said let's move on to number six on the list which is none other than Pericles also an ancient Greek commander again if we do see a Greek civilization which guys we already know they have confirmed we're getting a new civilization this year and it makes sense okay the Viking civilization release was a big deal a lot of people were excited for it a lot of people started playing rise of kingdoms specifically for Vikings and all of the advertisements that they were running around it 
so we know there's going to be a new civilization and if it's going to be greece i think pericles would be a really awesome addition to the game now being more of a political figure i could see him being sort of a leadership commander in rise of kingdoms and in fact we take a look at the wikipedia article here it says pericles was a greek statesman and general during the golden age of athens he was prominent and influential in athenian politics particularly between the greco-persian wars and the peloponnesian war and was acclaimed by thucydides oh i definitely mispronounced that one a contemporary historian as the first citizen of athens pericles turned the delian league into an athenian empire and his countrymen during the first two years of the Peloponnesian War, the period during which he led Athens roughly from 461 to 429 BC is sometimes known as the Age of Pericles. Now, I don't remember where I got this image. I think it's from like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or something like that. But obviously, if he's put into the game, I would like to see him maybe be a little bit younger with that famous Athenian helmet that is just, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? It's sort of like that owl shaped face mask that just looks super, super cool. I think they could put this into Rise of Kingdoms and make it look awesome but again Pericles being famous being from Athens I feel like having another Greek commander in the game would be cool and he is sort of a shoe in moving on to number seven and the final commander on this list is none other than Mahatma Gandhi now Gandhi you know Gandhi everybody knows Gandhi now let's be real okay this is a game of war and Gandhi was not really all about war but when it comes to famous historical leaders I feel like Gandhi is right up there with some of the most famous in all of human history I mean he's also in games like Civ 6 right so let's be real Gandhi is already in similar games to Rise of Kingdoms he would absolutely be the most recent historical figure in the game there's literally pictures of Gandhi like photographs like the technology was around when Gandhi was like in his 70s now Gandhi is more so known for unity and combating poverty and values that aren't necessarily raging warfare so I would say he would probably be more of like a leadership commander maybe an integration commander I can't see him being like the number one war rager in rise of kingdoms but I definitely feel like he would fit the theme if we take a look at his Wikipedia page it says Gandhi was an Indian lawyer anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist who employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule and to later inspire movements for civil rights and freedom across the world again definitely the most recent commander that they could put into rise of kingdoms but one that I think could be worthy of the title now in case you guys missed it I made a video just like this a few months ago where I showed you guys five commanders that I would love to see come to rise of kingdoms here's a little sneak peek this is Hanzo famous ninja warrior I even went as far as to showing off what I think some of their skills could be so if you guys want more speculation into the future of commanders for rise of kingdoms go ahead and check that video out as well I think there's some really cool commanders in there and you definitely shouldn't miss it with that being said quick recap we've got Gandhi Pericles Baldwin King Menelaus William Wallace Hammurabi and King Arthur I want to know in the comment section below what commanders do you want to see coming to rise of kingdoms in 2022 so make sure you comment down below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the video a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace